summer, everyone. Well, a serious summer, to say the very least. You know it's getting serious when I'm busting out the big metal patent fan, because the other ones aren't moving enough air. Hope you don't mind a little bit of fan noise. There's the culprit right there. Usually the summer jokes here in New England is that Florida can't keep its air to itself. But this time, this is just a mess right over here. It's keeping the hot air from escaping. And so we basically got a mega greenhouse going for all of this. <laughs> yep. Well, there's no, nothing wrong with having a real summer for a change, as opposed to what we had earlier. The sad part, though, is that when it gets down to 60 degrees, we're going to be grabbing our coats <laughs> when we approach autumn. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm not here to talk about the weather, although it's certainly something we could always complain about. So earlier I posted a little something on Twitter about how it seems like the computer industry just can't get enough of making me want to not buy their stuff, or the computer parts industry, I should say. It's kind of a failure of capitalism when you stop and think about it. I have never seen an industry do so well at getting me to not buy their stuff. Wait for the AMD Zen, wait for the AMD Zen, wait for the new graphics cards, wait for the new graphics cards, wait for the prices to drop on the new graphics cards, wait for technical fixes to the new graphics cards, wait for the OEMs and the third-party manufacturers to make third-party cooling solutions on the graphics cards. Wait, 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 wait. And depending on who you listen to or whose articles you read, you may hear a few words about how the computer industry sales have been dropping, how computer OEM manufacturers have had problems in the last couple of years. Small wonder they're having the problems they're having when this is the state that the hardware industry is in. Now I've talked about Monolith for technically years at this point, although that may be embellishing things a bit, but I, I'm still using the old 2010 system with a graphics card from roughly 2013 or so, the GTX 7 series. And now, building Monolith this fall is questionable. And the industry has nobody to blame but themselves. Let's take a look at some of these new egg pages. It's a lot of new egg tabs, and we're going to be talking about all of them. So here's the GTX 1070s that are available on new egg right now. MSI, Zotac, Zotac Founders Edition with that stock reference design. MSI, EVGA. This is the one I'd want to get. I've had very good luck with EVGA cards. So I like the uh, two big fans and things like that. This is the part where people are like, well, you know, the blower fans are for people with smaller cases. Yeah, well, I actually build computers in real cases, so airflow is not an issue. A GTX 1070, 460. <laughs> and look at these prices, though. 400 something, 400 something, 400 something, 400 something around the 500 mark now. Oh, look, custom water cooling for 519. All of these cards. Oh, wait a minute, what's that 409? Oh, out of stock. Hoo hoo hoo. Plus it's got the blower fan, so I wouldn't want it anyways. But notice notice the pattern here. This was a card that was advertised as MSRPing in the high threes, not the low to mid fours. I could perhaps hold my nose and pay $380 for a graphics card, which is a lousy investment if you don't have the computer to back it up, because you can get starter systems for around the $300 mark. So basically, it's the starter system or a graphics card. And this is how some people justify PC gaming. They're like, oh yeah, well I just spend on a new graphics card what I'd spend on a console. Makes sense, if there were $450 consoles still around. <laughs> but yeah, this was supposed to be the budget card. And not only is this not the budget card, there's supposed to be a GTX 1060 now to compete with the RX 480. What's that going to be priced at? Because if this was supposed to be 380, and it's not going below the low to mid fours, if this was 38, this was supposed to be high threes. Instead, it's low to mid fours. I highly doubt that the 960s are going to be priced competitive with the RX 480s. Now let's talk about the GeForce 9 series. You know they stopped production on these things. They were supposed to be. Let's get the all sellers thing out of there. They stopped production on these things. They're not going to make them anymore. They're obsolete. New egg is slow. Whatever. They're not making these things anymore. They're old school. They've been superseded. A, 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 a refurbished 980 for $380. A refurbished 980 
for the price of what the 1070 was supposed to be at the launch. High threes, high threes. Funny, I thought this was obsolete, discontinued stuff. Strange. Oh look, a 980 for $450. Strange, you know? So what about the RX 480? Well, if you can look the other way on the power problems, which hopefully have been resolved, here's my problem with the 480s. Vision Tech, Sapphire, SXFX, Sapphire, Asus, Gigabyte, Power Color. Notice something kind of, sort of, familiar? They're all the reference design. Nobody has taken liberties with the cooling yet. I don't want one stupid little blower fan. I don't want one stupid little blower fan. Even Sapphire. Sapphire has had some cards in the R9 series with similar cooling setups to the EVGAs that I've enjoyed over the last couple of years. But here's all those, here's all the, well, at least the prices are, wait, what's that, a $400? Ha, <laughs> ha. Well, well, actually, let's get the all sellers out of it. The Newegg Marketplace just doesn't work. So $200, $200, they're all around what they were supposed to be, low twos, but they're all the reference design. I wouldn't mind paying in the mid twos for something with an aftermarket cooling solution on it. Like perhaps what happened with the R9 series. Oh, what is this, MSI? There's, there's X, XFX, nice standardized block system. There should be, there's Sapphire. That's what I want right there. Two fans, big, huge heat sink that covers the whole card and but for an RX 480 instead of an R9 380 so like this is supposed to be the old stuff it's supposed to be the old stuff and it's got the more diverse cooling solutions compared to the the 480s being stock 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 reference 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 so what's the story here so yeah, I was hoping that maybe I could at least have the graphics card by now, which would be going forward into the new system. But instead we have this. The old stuff isn't dropping in price like it should, and the new stuff isn't interesting or exciting. It's reference stuff. And this has been the headline for processor development for the last couple of years now while AMD has been spinning their tires with the construction equipment processors. The Zen is supposed to break all that but the Zen was supposed to be something that we got last year 2015 future year back to the future year should have been out last year it got delayed and now there's talk that the Zen might be delayed again. Let me just say that there is no more surefire way there is no better way that AMD could guarantee that my next computer is at least a Skylake system than to delay the AMD Zen once again. It's been delayed enough. We've waited long enough. Enough is enough. Period. And then there's the issue of what to put it in. Fractal design. Love the simplistic design as opposed to some of the goofy stuff you see in cases these days. I've been looking to see if Fractal was ever going to come out with the Define XL R3, which would take the Define R5 and take the Define R5's features and put it inside a larger case with more bays. So if I want to have a wider variety of drives, I could. Or more drives, or having something function as a server or something like that, I could. At least the uh, Define R5 is at around the 100 mark. And notice what's not here. We scroll down far enough, eventually we get to the Define XLR2. There has not been a Define XLR3. Now I've been following this for how long now? The Define XLR2 is based on the Define R4. And there's some things that improve with the Define R5 that just blow away the R4. Like for example, the filter that it is a dust sucker case. You're gonna have your power supply in the bottom, but the dust filter to keep the air from, the dust from getting sucked into the power supply comes out the back on this old case as opposed to the front on the newer ones. This is the old design. I also don't like that mesh grill across the top. I want the option of keeping it solid 
in case by wild chance the roof leaks, wouldn't want to lose a motherboard because of something, some liquids coming down from above. Never been a fan of top fans. Never will be. The newer series, defined series cases, don't have this problem. It's these old ones, ah, camera strap, it's these old ones that do. But has there been a Define XLR3? No. We still see R2 all over the place at Newegg. Has there even been an announcement? Has Fractal given up on tower cases because not many people build towers anymore? That looks to be the case. Ha ha ha. But it's really nothing to joke about. I have never seen an industry do so well at getting me to not want to buy their stuff. There's just something wrong with this here. And I think we all know what it is. So, I hate to say this, and I wasn't expecting to say this, but Monolith is a question mark mere months before I think of building it during the Black Friday rush. I may not build it. If it's not worth building, I won't. But I think at this point, I've waited long enough. If AMD doesn't get their stuff together, if they delay the Zen, or if the Zen has hardware issues, much like the Defont, not the Defont, much like the RX 480s did, with the power consumption, my next system is an Intel box. And it may be time to say goodbye to AMD once and for all, if that's the case. And we wonder why computer sales have been on the decline, or computer part sales anyways. Right. Time to finish letting the house cool off and call it a night. But yeah, never thought I'd see the day when computer building would sink to this low of a level. This is Multimedia J, signing off. Thanks for stopping by.